Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Dashcoin using your Windows 10 or 11 base computer here in 2025 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have, including discounts on your pool mining fees, allowing you to build your holdings even faster. Also, I do want to mention there is a small change here on the YouTube channel due to some Google advertising changes. I will be having small breaks throughout the video. They're only about one second long, um, but that allows me to continue providing these videos here for free for you on YouTube. So thank you for your understanding with that and let's dive in. So taking a look here at CoinMarketCap, I always like to start off here just as a point of reference. So if you aren't interested in this, feel free to skip ahead. But as you can see, crypto's down a little bit today to a total market cap of 2.77 trillion or about two and three quarter percents down. So of course, top 10 gonna look pretty similar. Um, good news is on the seven day chart, we do have a lot of green. So while today is a little bit of a pullback, this week has been relatively good in terms of just seeing a little bit of price movement. Um, and of course, we are all waiting for the 2025 bull run. We are perfectly in cycle with previous Bitcoin bull runs where there's been a little bit of a low period before it really takes off. Um, so really, in my personal opinion, I think any day now we will start to see prices move back up. But of course, today we are talking about Dashcoin. Now you may be thinking, Dashcoin, this is a fairly old coin. It's been around for a long time. Kind of one of the OG staking and masternode coins, um, you know, seeing all time highs around $1,600 in 2017. Um, but, you know, having a pretty sharp drop off since then and never really getting back up real high. But maybe you are here because you're thinking that Dashcoin is a great coin to be holding for the bull run. Um, priced at $23.75, there's still a lot of room for it to go up. If we just look at the last year, uh, back in December when coins were you know, doing a lot better just overall, Dashcoin was up around $65 a coin. So that's you know over doubling your money uh, for anything that you mine right now. So, and even if we look back to the previous bull run, Dashcoin got up to about $400. So that's really, really good if it just gets back to that level. So you might be thinking, how do we mine this coin? Because as I mentioned, this is a staking coin. You don't actually mine this. Well, we're using a site here called Unminable. Now, if you're not familiar with it, it does pretty much what the title says. It allows you to mine coins that are not traditionally mineable. So the way you do that is you actually pick an algorithm that is profitable for your hardware, which if you're not sure what that is, I recommend going over to whattomine.com. Enter in the hardware that you're going to be mining with, and it'll tell you what is best and most profitable in that moment. So I do always recommend doing that. But then basically what you do is you mine a different coin, and Unminable takes care of everything on the back end and pays you straight out in Dashcoin. So it really allows you to build your holdings in coins that you're interested in without having to worry about exchange fees and potential taxes on crypto exchanges. So what you're going to do, go down in the description, there's a link to Unminable or navigate to unminable.com. But I will say that if you use the link in the description, you will save 25% on your pool mining fee, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Then what you're going to do is select get started with our guided setup. I always recommend going basic, but there is an advanced option as well. And for this video, I'm going to be going down the GPU mining path, as I think that's what most people are going to be doing. But if your computer does not have a GPU or you're following along using a Mac OS based computer, choose that CPU option. Then what you're going to do is select the algorithm you want to use to mine. So again, I would recommend checking whattomine.com to see what is best for your specific hardware. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using the Kapow algorithm. Here's where you choose the coin you want to get paid out in, which of course is Dashcoin. And you'll go ahead and enter in your Dashcoin address. So please double and triple check this address because if this is incorrect, everything will still work exactly as expected and as shown in this video until you go to get paid and then you just simply won't be able to get paid since the address is wrong. So please double, triple check that. I'd hate to see you mine and then not be able to get paid. 
Awesome, and so the final step here is the referral section. Um, so as you can see here, if you use the link in the description below, my Bitcoin tips referral code will auto populate here on this page. Um, and if you didn't use the link in the description and just went straight to the website, the code is Bitcoin-Tips with a capital B and a capital T. Again, this is going to save you 25% on your pool mining fee. So essentially here on Unminable, there's a 1% pool mining fee, meaning for every 100 coins that you mine, you're going to pay one of those coins to Unminable. Now, if you use this code, you're actually reducing that down to 0.75%, meaning that for every 100 coins, you're only paying 0.75% and you're keeping 99.25. So definitely a really nice way to kind of boost your earnings and it does help the channel out a little bit. So feel free to use that or continue without it if you'd prefer to pay the higher fee. Awesome. So the final step here is download everything and getting started now there's a ton of different options for miners but I always recommend G miner um, it supports both major GPU manufacturers and it's the one that I personally use so um, feel free to use that one or anything else the process is pretty much the same so what you're gonna do is select download miner files this will take you to the github where you just download this Windows 64 zip file download this and extract it if you miss the extraction step, you will not be able to run. So if you get an error right away when you go to start the miner, that could be why. Um, so just make sure you don't miss that extraction step. Once you do that, you'll come back over here to the web page and select the blue download.bat file button. Just make sure that it is the one with the miner that you selected. So up here, this one, it will not work if I downloaded that one. Um, so just make sure it's, you know, because the blue buttons are the same, uh, just make sure it's the one you downloaded. But what you'll do is download that and you do see that uh, Google Chrome does call this out and says, hey, this file can't be verified. Are you sure you want to download it? You will have to select this and say download unverified file. If this is something you're not comfortable doing, simply select delete from history. And unfortunately, you will have to move on to something else in crypto as there is not a workaround for this. Um, but I can say I've used these files on several computers over the years. And I've been using Unminable specifically for over five years now. And I've never had an issue. So once you download that, all you have to do is drag and drop it directly into the folder with the files that you just extracted. So as you can see here, I have unminable kapow gminer.bat. And at this point, you are ready to get started mining. And to do that, all you have to do is double click this bat file. Now you will notice here, I did get another pop-up saying Windows has protected your PC. You will have to save more info and then run anyway if you want to continue. Now again, if you're not comfortable doing this on your computer, simply select don't run, delete the files and move on to something else in crypto. I have a ton of great videos on faucets and other sites where you don't have to download anything. But if you do want to mine, you will have to select run anyway. The good news is this only pops up the very first time you run the file. So just like that, we are about eight minutes to the video including a little bit of coin market cap and we are up and running mining dash coin using my rtx 3070 here with unminable so it's really that easy to get started now just a few final things about mining with unminable before we wrap up the video when you start the miner if everything looks like what you're seeing on the screen you've got some blue some yellow some green text nothing red no errors everything is up and running and good to go you should start to see stats show up on the website under the addresses tab within 15 to 30 minutes. If it doesn't show up after that, um, something may be configured incorrectly. Just double check that you've got the addresses and things like that entered in correctly and that you're still not getting any errors here in the CMD window. And when you're ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find the CMD window and hit the red X. You might be thinking, why am I telling you how to close a window? That's hopefully the easiest part of everything we've talked about. Well, with unminable and crypto mining in general, when you stop a miner, if you've been running for a while, you may actually continue seeing stats and even payments to your on-site balance for up to 12 hours or longer after stopping that miner. This is due to just having shares being submitted and blocks being found. Um, it's just kind of how mining works. But I have seen the question in the past of, hey, I've stopped the miner, but I'm still getting paid. Is it mining in the background? As long as that CMD window is closed out, you can know that it is not mining in the background and you are good to use your 
PC for anything else. I can personally say I stopped a miner, turned off the computer, and unplugged it from the wall, and I was still getting paid the next morning. So there was no way for that to be mining, but I was still getting paid. But hey, as long as you're still getting paid and you're not having to mine, I wouldn't worry too much about it. So with that being said, if you run into any issues throughout this entire process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what's going on and any specific errors you're getting. I'm always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And if you liked this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips. It really does help out the channel and allow us to continue providing these videos for free here on YouTube for you. And if you're looking to support the channel a little further, we do also have the channel memberships and super thanks options down below, which of course any support in that area is greatly, greatly appreciated. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.